Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. But at any rate, um, when uh, when this thing first happened and we seen a video, I know I did, with somebody's arm hanging out the window. Was that fake or was that real? As as far as I know, um, it was real. Okay. But yeah. before you say anything about that, were you there that day? I was not there that day. Okay. I was not. None was of that at day at all? Location. No. I was at the other location. I don't know because I seen you on the news. Yeah, yeah. How the hell I see you on the news? A lot of people saw me on the news. I mean that that situation, like, like I mean, it have everything happened so fast. We got a phone call. My dad called, told us what was going on. And at first, we thought it was somebody in the store, like one of the employees. That's what we thought first, me and my mom, because everything was just happening so fast. He was talking fast. We heard screams. So who was know. at the store that day? Who was working um, that day? It was um, one of my relatives, one of my cousins, and uh, two employees, two female employees. So your mom or dad was not even there at that they location that day? They were not there at the time, no. Okay. No, they weren't. So it just... Um, Headed over there is when and you have you cameras know, in that. Call. Oh yeah, it's cameras. So oh, everything so everything is caught on camera. Everything is caught. Everything from the time he walked in, everything is caught on camera. And the police have <laughs> that um, that footage in custody. They have everything. Okay. Yeah. So when when this happened, uh, I mean, you know, I know they got cameras in there and all that, but did they did they confiscate the cameras or did they just ask for copies? No, they confiscated everything in there. Everything in the office they took. Wow, and and so you know when when I when I first seen this, I, I'm not I'm gonna be real with you. Um, when I started researching, because me and you talked, I was like, man, let me go back and look. There's a video where when I put your name in, uh, it pops up with you, and you pretty much just showing homage to CMG. Um, I, that video popped up first. I'm not yeah. playing. It I believe like, you. I'm telling you. It's, so it'd probably be in search more or whatever. But at any rate, what was that? Was that uh, what? Because we know they had differences. Was it, what was the uh, connection with you and CMG? There is no connection with me and CMG. So you were just saying that just because you rock with their music or? I mean, when you're in Memphis, it, it's not a not a real, okay, they got beef, so I'm going to rock with this side. Okay. You know, if you, you like music, if music is music, then you're going to like whoever sing it. If that's what you're feeling, that's what you're feeling. You know, I can't. You know, talk on the beef they had, you know, because that was I'm not a part of that beef. I'm not, you know, hanging with one side and trying to be in beef with somebody on that opposite side. I don't do that. If I like your music, I just like your music. And at the time that that particular interview you're talking about, my sister was doing it and we were interviewing uh, the new uh, the twins that are assigned to CMG. That's what we because it's probably a twin twin. Yeah, I heard you say that. That's the only thing. So I was like, oh man, I fuck with CMG. I said, just that's it. It wasn't. Oh man, I was just at Gotti House the other day, man. We was just talking about them. None of that popped out, but they took me having a discussion saying I rock with CMG and saying, okay, well, obviously she works for them or she about to get a deal with him. I'm like, shit, I ain't seen no deal. I don't know what y'all talking about. It was just, I've never, man, if Gotti were to walk into the store, it'll probably take me a second to realize who he is because I don't really just see him unless I see him on YouTube or somewhere. I see him, you know, somebody posting him. So, so he never never visited a McKee? No, no, so I've never seen him. Just hypothetically speaking, if a deal did come up and it was very lucrative, would you still take it? No. No, absolutely not. I don't know. It's and not even because, you know, people will be looking at it like that. It's just I don't I mean, whatever kind of beef they claim and they have, I don't wanna be a part of that. I don't wanna be a part of anybody's beef or whatever you guys got going on, you hate one person so the whole crew gotta hate them type situation. I ain't with all that, you know. And on top of that, I mean, I wanna be I wanna be independent. I don't think anybody should be under anybody. I, don't I like think I like that should too. Control anybody? I think you should be independent. You know, put your own stuff out. Don't let somebody control when you do this, that, and the third. You should be able to do that. So that's one thing I actually looked up to when it came to Dolph. I mean, yeah, he, you know, he was promoting generational wealth. He was supporting black-owned businesses. He was, I mean, he came back to his city. He didn't have to come back here. You know, he didn't have to come back to Memphis and show us love every time, every year. He didn't have to do that, but he did it. You know, so. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.